Your belly fat is lying to you. It's not just making your clothes tight or your reflection uncomfortable. It's silently poisoning your body every single day. What you see on the outside is only the tip of the iceberg. That deeper fat called visceral fat is wrapping around your liver, your pancreas, your intestines, and even sending signals that damage your heart and brain. Imagine carrying a toxic factory inside your belly. That's what visceral fat is. It pumps out inflammatory chemicals, stress hormones, as well as molecules that hijack your blood sugar. It raises your blood pressure, it clogs your liver, and accelerates aging. This is why your belly fat is the single most dangerous place you can carry weight on your body. And the truth is, you can't out-crunch it. You can't just spot reduce. You have to shut that toxic factory down from the inside out. So let me show you how with science and physiology that you'll never forget. Think of your fat cells like tiny storage units. Every time you eat more calories than you burn, you're stuffing more boxes into those units. Eventually, the closet is full and the excess spills into your abdominal cavity. That's visceral fat. But here is the hopeful part. Even a small, consistent calorie deficit is like unlocking the door and finally moving those boxes out. You don't need to starve. You don't need crash diets. You just need steady habits. Next, protein. Protein is a scaffolding that holds up your body. Without enough protein, your body strips muscle to survive. And when muscle goes down, your metabolic engine starts to slow down as well. But protect that muscle with protein and your engine keeps running hot, burning fat. Think of muscle as the furnace. The bigger, the stronger it is, the more fuel it burns around the clock. Exercise is your accelerant. Cardiovascular, cardio is like turning on that thermostat helping you burn those calories fast. But resistant training is building the actual furnace. The more muscle you have, the more calories you burn 24 seven. That's why combining strength training with aerobic movement is like attacking belly fat from both sides. Now, refined carbs. We know what refined carbs do to our body. Imagine pouring gasoline on a fire. Sugar spikes insulin, and insulin is the lock that traps fat inside your cells. You can be exercising, you can eat less, doing everything right. But if insulin is consistently elevated from sodas, sweets, and processed carbs, your fat cells stay sealed shut, replacing those foods with whole grains, beans, fruits, and vegetables, lowers insulin, it unlocks those cells, and lets fat out of the storage. And fiber, so important, that's your secret weapon. Picture a sponge that swells with water. That's what soluble fiber does to your gut. It slows digestion, it presses the appetite breaks, it steadies blood sugar, and it helps your belly fat melt away over time. Beans, oats, apples, vegetables aren't just fillers. They're powerful belly fat fires. And if you drink alcohol, every time you drink, your liver drops everything to detoxify that alcohol first. Fat burning goes on pause. And when this happens over and over, fat piles up exactly where you don't want it, in the belly, visceral fat. That's where the term bare belly comes from. It's not funny, it's physiology. And now your sleep, one night of poor sleep, raises your ghrelin, your hunger hormone, it lowers leptin, your fullness hormone and it boosts cortisol. Your stress hormone, that's the triple whammy for belly fat. You wake up hungrier, less satisfied, and more likely to store fat around your waist. Sleep isn't just for rest. It's one of the most powerful fat burning tools that you will ever have. And now stress. Chronic stress is like a slow leak in your tire. You don't notice it at first, but over time, it leaves you drained, flat, and unable to move. Cortisol, your stress hormone, tells your body to hold fat around your belly for survival. That's why simple tools like deep breathing exercises, walking, prayer, meditation, or even just laughing. And time-restricted eating is another tool. When you give your body real breaks from food, 
insulin levels start to drop, fat cells unlock, and your body dips into storage. Finally, letting your body clean the garage instead of just shoving in more boxes. An eight to 10 hour eating window isn't magic, but it will help your body reset and help that fat burning. Finally, if you're doing everything right, but you're still struggling, don't ignore possible medical issues. Sleep apnea, thyroid problems, hormonal imbalances, all of these can make belly fat resistant. So fixing the root, the key root of your problem, often unlocks the progress you didn't think was possible. So here's the bottom line. Belly fat is not just about looks. It's not just stubborn padding. It's an organ in itself, a toxic factory that's sending out destructive signals every single day. But the moment you choose to change your habits, eat smarter, move more, sleep better, calm your stress, and be consistent, you shut down that factory. You protect your heart, you protect your liver, as well as your brain. You stop the silent poisoning and you start the healing. Every single healthy choice is like pulling weeds from the garden. At first, it doesn't look like much, but over time, the weeds disappear, the soil gets cleaner, and the flowers start to grow. That's your body, that's your health, and that's your life. Don't wait for a diagnosis to wake you up. Start today because every step you take is not just shrinking your waistline, it's giving you back years of energy, freedom, and life. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.